Good morning, little nerds. Have you ever felt that you've had a patch of skin that you tried to rub off and clean off, but it just doesn't go and it just looks darker and sitting on your skin? Well, you're not alone because a few months ago, I've posted this YouTube shorts on dirty skin and the requests for a deep dive were overwhelming. So today we are going to dive in deep onto this topic of dirty skin, understanding why it comes up, what you can do about it, and what you should look out for. Please feel free to subscribe, like, and comment below. My name is Dr. Shireen Idris. I'm a board-certified dermatologist in New York City, and we get together every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. to do deep dives, like I like to call them, pillow talk derm. But before we jump in, I want to touch on another physical insecurity that a lot of you nerds experience out there, that I experience, that my patients experience, and I'm talking about hair thinning. Thank you Nutrafol for sponsoring this portion of the video and I've spoken about their supplements before and when you guys tell me that you see a difference with your hair, it encourages me because the recommendations that I'm giving you guys are actually working. And so I continue to recommend these products for the new nerds that are joining our channel that are not aware. It is clinically effective within three to six months. I have been on this now very solidly, very consistently for the past year. And a lot of you guys have been telling me you've noticed changes in my hairstyles because my hair is fuller. I have no extensions. And so I've been taking the liberty of having fun with my hair in the past few months. That being said, it has vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, as well as ashwagandha root as, and zinc, all of which are essential nutrients to help promote fuller hair. So if you're experiencing hair thinning, it is worth checking out. Obviously, always consult with your doctor, but I will link below other videos that I've done on hair thinning in case you want to learn more. With that being said, let's jump into dirty skin. Skin across the board is not created equal. In some cases, it is due to poor hygiene, but in other cases, it's completely out of your control. And the fact that it is referred to as dirty skin is a little bit judgmental and quite frankly, not right. But the reality is, not all conditions are created equal, and with some of them, we can help ourselves very easily. With other ones, you might need a little bit more digging. You have these darker stuck-on plaques, especially in hard-to-reach areas at the base of your neck, your underarms, your wrist, your elbows, your ankles, even on your chest. And this condition is due to the fact that your skin cells are not exactly getting rid of themselves adequately because our skin renews itself every 28 days. But an underlying reason as to why your skin is not exfoliating itself adequately is due to poor hygiene. But the reality is we are not all taught the correct way to be hygienic. So if that is of interest to you guys, I am happy to dive in deep. There is no judgment when it comes to this because we see this way more often than not regardless of race, gender, or socioeconomic class. That being said, the best way to get rid of these patches, 70% isopropyl alcohol. Get some rubbing alcohol and rub that shit off your skin and it will come off very easily, but it will not come off in the shower with soap and water. So something for you guys to be aware of. But other conditions, like the following one, is completely unrelated to hygiene. This one is known as acanthosis nigricans, and it is not dirty skin. It can look like your skin is dirty, but it is unassociated with your hygiene. You can tend to get these thicker, velvety, darker looking patches and plaques at the base of your neck, in your underarms, in your groin, and it tends to appear slowly, progressively over time. And it can be a little bit daunting because no matter how much you rub or you scrub, they're still there and they never fully go away. They tend to have a symmetric pattern. So you're gonna see at both sides of the base of your neck, your armpits or your groin, and they don't rub off with isopropyl alcohol. So then what causes it? The most common underlying condition is insulin resistance, a condition that develops if you have type two diabetes, metabolic syndrome, or even if you are pre-diabetic. And with insulin resistance, we have higher levels of insulin floating around our body, and insulin is known to multiply our skin cells. So our skin is literally getting thicker in certain areas and therefore appearing darker. Obesity, and with obesity comes insulin resistance. There is an obesity associated risk of insulin resistance that can induce obesity associated acanthosis, but this usually appears in the folds of the body where there is redundancy in our skin and there's also chronic rubbing that also occurs. Third are hormonal disorders like thyroid disorders, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and other endocrine disorders can also lead to acanthosis nigricans, which leads me to number four, medications. Certain medications, unfortunately, this can be an unwanted side effect like corticosteroids, birth control pills, or even medications that affect hormones can trigger the condition. And last, this is not meant to scare you, but to make you aware. 
cancer, certain types of cancers like stomach cancer and liver cancer can be associated with acanthosis nigricans and your skin can appear dirty. But you will have other underlying symptoms. You might have a loss of appetite, unwanted weight loss. You might look a little bit jaundiced. You might have night sweats. If there's a family history of stomach cancer or liver cancer, I would strongly advise that you go see your primary care physician to make sure that everything else is ruled out, but do not jump to this conclusion if you start noticing patches. And last, the most common cause, genetics. Some people are born with the gene in which their skin develops these patches along the base of their neck, their armpits, their groin, their knees, etc. But that is due to your ancestors and quite frankly genetics are the cause of a lot of the things that we have so then how do we treat these patches because we're just sick of them number one we need to make sure that we are treating the underlying cause if they've appeared all of a sudden if any of the things that i've talked about sound remotely potentially possible i would make sure that you see a primary care physician and you find out what is going on because treating the root cause is going to get rid of it so that is number one two and three but on a cosmetic level if you have gone through all of this and knock on wood you are healthy and nothing else is going on certain cosmetic over-the-counter ingredients can help improve the appearance of these patches by not only exfoliating lightening but also helping with cellular turnover so ingredients and products that you should be looking out for are number one exfoliating acids, alpha hydroxy acids, like the lactic acids of the world, and even the glycolic acids of the world are going to help break up how these skin cells hold on to each other, thinning out these patches over time and allowing those dead cells to slough off and improve your texture. One example of that is amlactin. This is an over-the-counter lactic acid moisturizer that you can find at your drugstore. It is very, very easy to use. If you do not want to use a moisturizer and you want to be very specific in the areas that you are treating and you don't want to get this moisturizer necessarily all over, this is where the flash mask comes in. The reason I made this form into a gel is because you can actually dictate where you apply it, how much you apply and how long you let it sit. So you can apply this to the base of your neck, your armpits, or even certain areas along your groin as long as it doesn't attach to your mucous membrane. Elemis, and I'm gonna put a picture of this one, has their dynamic gentle resurfacing pads with lactic acid. These are pads with lactic acid, unlike this format, which is a moisturizer. So you could take the pad as well and just rub it on those areas that are darker. The second category of ingredient that you guys should try to look out for are things with urea. Urea is known to be a keratolytic agent. It is gonna break down the keratin causing desquamation and shedding of the thickened cells while also helping with skin hydration. So if you're on the ashier side or if you're on the drier side, urea might be a great ingredient to incorporate into your skin regimen. Creams with 10 to 20% urea are ideal. Isden has, and I have it by my shower, their Uridin Lotion 10, which offers intense hydration, and this is a 10% urea with dexpanthenol, which is a nice bonus. Otherwise, Cetaphil has come up with exfoliating rough and bumpy cream with 20% urea, and this can be found at your drugstore. Now, in terms of promoting cellular turnover, you guys know what I'm about to say, retinols. The body below the neck can take retinols better than the face. And the reason I say this is because the skin is thicker, number one. Number two, the skin is also covered. So if it's the winter time and you want to try to test this out, this is the time to test it out. Not somewhere super sunny or always hot because you're gonna be wearing tank tops or t-shirts and I don't want your skin to be sensitive to the sun um, overall or for you to be more sensitive rather to the sun. So if you're gonna try a retinol, try it now while we're in the sweater season and you can use over-the-counter retinols first, but you could be a little bit more aggressive. So you don't have to go for the right, lightest thing over the counter. But if you're nervous, there are body products with retinols in them. And this is one by the Cicere called the Le Retinol, uh, the Body Retinol. I was, I, don't, I was reading it in French, but this is one that you can easily choose. You can easily just go for a face, face I'm lisping right now, a face retinol like Paula's Choice or any sort of retinol, try to use it on those areas. If you're nervous, put a moisturizer first and then apply it. Only do it at night and don't try to do it twice a day. Gold Bond, by the way, also has a retinol overnight body lotion, which they attach to body and face lotion. So you can use it on your face and your body. I'll put a picture up over here. So I hope this video was helpful. 
If you guys have any questions about dirty skin, any concerns about whatever I mentioned in this video, or if you do want me to do a video on hygiene, I am totally happy to do that. And there is no judgment here because it's not something that we are all taught in the right way. And certain things that were taught to me were just not right, like using a loofah because that shit can get really moldy. So anyway, let me know. Don't be afraid to talk about it. And I hope you guys have a beautiful Saturday.